All right, you guys, so this is during Crankworks. I was riding at Whistler with uh, some buddies of mine, Alex and Wesley. Uh, for this particular video, I'm actually just riding with Alex. So we actually do two garbanzo runs in this video. So you'll see us riding Freight Train, Una Moss, some of No Joke, and Seven Year War. As well as the next time we go up, we do uh, Original Sin. And then we hang out a little bit on those big step ups uh, where you kind of see a bunch of those pictures. So this video is a bit longer because um, we did quite a bit of riding. I just thought, why not just put it all into one big video? You guys seem to like some of these longer videos. The conditions were getting fairly dry during crankworks, which is pretty typical though during crankworks. It was getting a bit hot. I don't think it was too bad compared to some previous years. Um, the rain had actually kept up quite a bit uh, before crankworks, so the conditions weren't that bad. It was worse the year before at this time. So this year it wasn't too bad during crankworks. It wasn't quite so beat up. And this is when it's really nice to go on the garbanzo area because it's it's higher elevation meaning it's a bit colder it's generally not as dry or hot as the lower section so then that's why in the middle of the summer like crankworks time doing some garbanzo runs can actually be quite nice now it's kind of sticky into that bridge because i went wide there, i know but like i felt weird it's it's, it's the lighting is weird eh yeah and like it's just kind of loose if you see things. yeah you almost I might try next time just taking the jump wide yeah, and then trying to cut, cut the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah that might be better. I still yeah. cleared it, but yeah. yeah. I think that did ring maybe. You're the boost master, so <laughs> that's I valid. <laughs> So for those who don't know which bike I'm riding, I'm riding a 2013 Norco Truax. That's my nice orange bike. I like it quite a bit. Yeah, I'm having quite a lot of fun with it. I really enjoy it. It's great for the jumps. It's not the best for like gnarly downhill riding, but that's okay because I love like riding the jump trails more anyway. And that's what it's so great on. It's so perfect for like the jump trails, like, you know, Freight Train, Dirt Merchant, which are some of my favorites. Um, so I really love my bike. It fits great for the kind of riding that I like to do. I generally like it more than the full DH bikes, mostly, at least for riding the jump trails. It's just, my bike is just more nimble, better handling, and I really enjoy it for what kind of riding I do.
this gondola here actually recently opened um, just last year actually for the first time where you can actually go up the gondola that was from Creekside and I yeah, I don't think you can go down it but you get you, there's some trails now where you can go down to the Creekside and then you can go up that gondola which goes right up here just another chair in addition to the Fitzsimmons chair and the Garbanzo chair built too and it's already getting like eaten up. And so the lower part of freight train was actually recently um, changed as of this video at least during Craigworks it was recently changed and so in this video is the first time I hit it. All right, so this is the first time riding the new part of freight train here. I definitely did not ride it that well because I was a little bit like, I was like too cautious, I guess. There used to be a rock over here that you would roll down and now it's just covered in dirt. I don't like that. I think it's kind of weird. Yeah, some of the changes I'm not much of a fan of, but some of it seems fine, I guess. Um, we got some nice big jumps. Let's see some big ones up ahead here. Um, but yeah, I wasn't riding my best, so I was like casing some of them, like this big one. Oh boy. I wasn't even like trying hard enough to clear them all, but yeah, I don't, didn't even have a chance for that one. But uh, later on, I definitely rode it way better.
And so there we go, that was the end of that Garbanzo ride. Ends out right at the beginning of uh, Dirt Merchant there. And uh, now we're going to head up one more time. We're going to ride Original Sin now and uh, check out some of those big jumps at the end of Original Sin. It's trails like these where I can definitely tell that if I had like a, a bigger DH bike I could ride them faster. Um, I could still do original sin pretty decently on my bike but I could I can tell the few times when I'd ride like a DH bike whether I was like renting one or, or riding one for free during Crankworks to test one out. Uh, I could notice the difference between like trails like original sin where like I could go faster on the DH bike. But it's just that my true axe is way better on the jump trails though. And I prefer the kind of riding that involves um, just, you know, quick handling, nimbleness, um, the ability to jump really easily. That's what I prefer in a bike, so that's why I like my bike a lot better still. And I can still handle these technical trails pretty well anyway. I think it would only help me when I get onto a DH bike, I find. It's hard to ride my best there in like the dry and dust and, I know. and also like the sunspots don't help that much. on the trail. Good. Pretty good. It is a fun trail. Yeah. All right, here we are at the end of Original Sin, and these are the jumps, the step ups, and then there's that one hip jump on the left side there. But we're just gonna hit a few times, and we're just gonna record each other doing them, just to try out. The first time I hit it, I didn't quite go as fast as I could have. Cause like, this is so new, I was like kind of scared, like, oh man, cause I don't want to be overshooting it.
Okay. And then after that, we just rode down freight train the rest of the way. Basically the same thing that we just did already that you've already watched. So I just didn't include that into this video because it's just the same thing. I didn't really ride it any differently or better much. At least not on this day, so... Hey guys, hope you enjoyed my video. Give me a comment, tell me what you think. Give a like and subscribe. I've got a Facebook page and an Instagram page. Check those out. And I'm also selling shirts on my Spreadshirt store. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe for more videos.